I'm Logan. And I'm Jen. And this is Surprised by Marriage. <laughs> hey there, everybody. I'm Logan. And I'm Jen. And this is Surprised by Marriage. Happy St. Joseph's Day, everybody. Yay. Today we are celebrating the feast day of St. Joseph. It's a solemnity, actually. It is a solemnity. Which means you, can, you don't have to do all the things that you said you would do for Lent. Cancel it out. Yes. But, unfortunately, we cannot celebrate the day as usual right. this time of, around because something is in the air right. that's affecting... Thanks to coronavirus, everything has been shut down over here and canceled, and so there are no St. Joseph's altars happening at any churches anywhere. Nowhere. Anywhere. We are stuck here. So, Jen... But that's okay, it's because okay. we're going to make our own St. Joseph's altar. You heard it here first, people. We are doing our own yeah. St. Joseph's altar. Man, I'm speaking with my hands a lot. Yeah. Because I'm excited. We love St. Joseph, and he is very dear to our marriage and our family, and he's the patron of one of our boys, and so we wanted to honor him by making our own St. Joseph's altar. Right. So we're going to take you along with us as we venture around our cabode and find things that we can put together, find a little place that we can present our own little altar and mm -hmm. honor. And now we're going to have to get creative with things to put on the altar because we can't just go to the store right now either. We're trying to like stay put right, yeah, and so, all that. So it'll be interesting, but we'll see what we can come up with. Oh, look, and I know the first place that we can start. Right over here, we have a lovely statue of the Holy Family. And I think this is a good way to start. Yes. So, all we need to do is find a location, find some items such as food, flowers, sawdust, yeah. all kind of stuff that, I, that we read about. And Then we we're going to say some prayers to St. Joseph. Right. So, we'll take you along our journey in our house as we try to put this together. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Jennifer, tell the people at home where we're going to do this. So we're still in our living room, and this is where we put our Advent wreath during Advent, and just, we always have candles, and this is kind of our prayer area, because right. we have all kinds of other prayer stuff in these drawers, and so this is what, where we're going to do it, and we're going to put three tiers. To Hello, boy! All right. We're going to put three tiers to represent the Holy Trinity. Right, and it looks like we have some things up here that we can add to our altar. Yeah, like here's our candle. drape it over this and then a little another little table um, but if you don't have a tablecloth that's okay because you can just use a bed sheet Ooh -hoo. let's get it so we're a little low on produce so we're going to use fake pumpkins. Well, candy pumpkins. Yeah. This is literally sawdust. For St. Joseph, because he's a carpenter. Mm -hmm.
There you have it. This is our altar. Hope it looks uh, better than you expected. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. And our boys are kind of, um, they're ready to eat all of this yes. stuff. So. So. But we're going to call them in here and we're going to say some prayers to St. Joseph first. Go to it. Sawdust, you see the sawdust because St. Joseph is a carpenter. We've talked about this book before, but it has literally a prayer for everything. So I marked a couple. Some are for the solemnity of St. Joseph, like the blessing of the St. Joseph's altar. But we're gonna do the litany of St. Joseph. What you wanna lead it? Uh sure. Almighty God. In your infinite wisdom and love, you chose Joseph to be the husband of Mary, the mother of your son. As we enjoy his protection on earth, may we have the help of his prayers in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And that's it. This is our altar. So there you have it. Hope to enjoy watching us put together our own St. Joseph altar. Yes. And yours doesn't need to be fancy if you do one. I mean, just on your kitchen table, just put a few things to honor St. Joseph, say some prayers to him, and thank him for just being an awesome saint in right. heaven. Just remember these times right now are tough, especially with the virus and being yeah. quarantined at home and you can't really go anywhere. But St. Joseph, despite all this has shown by his Pro own yeah, adversity he that he had to go through. Right. Uh, especially getting the mother of God to a safe place to deliver Jesus. Yeah, and actually St. Joseph's altar are like the thing because back in Sicily, way back when, there was a drought and they prayed to St. Joseph and then they had all these rains and so, rains, that, that's weird, okay. It rained a lot <laughs> and this is what they needed. So they put a bunch of food on a table to thank St. Joseph and then they gave it away to poor people. So if you feel stuck, and you don't feel like you can go anywhere because certain things are preventing you from going out, just remember to turn to St. Joseph and ask for his intercession on your behalf because he is the greatest example of what it means to get out of adversity. And to lead a family because your family is still a domestic church even though you probably can't go to church like us, you're still a domestic church. So ask St. Joseph for prayers and for guidance. Right, and so our prayers are with you as we are here at home celebrating the Feast of St. Joseph. We hope you have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.